Welcome back to New Day Cleveland. You know, dating, it can be hard enough, let alone when you haven't been in the dating game, well, for a long time. Well, we have a local love coach, Lisa Copeland here, joining us with some advice for dating after 50. First of all, thank you for coming in. Oh, thank you, it's and so nice to be here. I think for women especially, it's, it's tricky. You get to a certain age and it becomes intimidating to put yourself back out there again. It does. A lot of women, they're coming out with totally different bodies than they have when they were in their 20s. And as a result, they worry, will some man really like me? Well, and I think another big thing that I've seen and I know to be factual is is that men tend to, when they've gotten to a certain age, they, they can, they find a way to date younger. And so women then think, well, am I at an age where they're going to still want me or are they just going to go for a younger woman? Well, that's a good question. So a lot of men do try and date younger, but most younger women, they if, if they're going to date an older guy, either one, they have a daddy issue because a, a father was absent, or number two is what they have is they want a guy who's powerful and wealthy. Like I had a woman just, I spoke to one of my private clients in her 50s and a 70 year old guy wanted to, she's in her early 50s, a 70 year old man wanted to date her. And she said, I can't, it's like dating a parent. So you either have to be wealthy and powerful to make that happen, to date someone young. And most men are, most men that age come back to uh, women over 50s and they find them amazing because they share a history together. So what do you think are are the biggest obstacles? I mean, should women just try to jump into this? Heifer? I mean, what's the first step you should take, I guess? I mean, because there's probably a lot of, of firsts. It's just, it's nerve wracking. So what what's the first thing you want to start doing? So the first thing is, is you have to heal from the previous relationship. That is so important because if you don't, you're just going to reattract the same exact person that you just left. So that's really the first thing, come into who you are and what you have to offer because you are amazing over 50. You're not, if you stop comparing yourself to when you were 20, you can see how great you are at that age. And that's the first step. <laughs> so that would be the first step. And then I know a lot of uh, women will say, you know, I'm not getting on those, those dating sites. That's, but I feel like once you get to a certain age, even when you get into your 30s, it's harder to meet people than say when you were in school and in college mm -hmm. and it, people are readily available. So do you suggest dating websites or how do you suggest finding the right person? So I suggest to all my clients, we create what's called a dating blueprint. And in that we create two to four ways for them to meet men. Because when you just rely on online dating, what ends up happening is uh, when it kind of goes a little bit south or there's nobody new on the site, you feel like, oh my God, who am I gonna meet? So another great way to meet a person is through real life. Get out there and start flirting again. And yes, you can't flirt when you're in your You 50s. don't really lose it, right? You gotta just you try don't. it again. Yeah, I think women it. just automatically think, well, I, don't, I haven't done it in so many years. I can't uh -huh. do it. Well, so, I mean, where do you suggest going in real life experiences? I would suggest restaurants, take one friend with you um, because it makes it really, really easy to have someone to, like a wing person that you can sit and you can talk to each other until someone sits next to you. But you have to ask a guy a question. You have to say something like, can you do me a favor? I'm looking for a red wine. I see you're drinking red wine. Is there something that you, a red wine you'd suggest? Interesting, so, <laughs> so what you're saying is that even when men age, they still can be intimidated by a woman. And so maybe mm -hmm. you think you're nervous because you want the man to make the first move, but maybe he needs you to make the first move. You've got to encourage a man at any age that you're at, no <laughs> matter how old, you have to encourage him. You have to let him know it's safe to approach you. And it's great by asking questions. It's the perfect way. It's not like Hollywood where they yeah. show a guy across the bar and you see- It's just so yeah. easy. I think of that crazy, stupid love movie and yeah. I, there's these characters and you think, that's never gonna happen to me in real life, right? But, but there are versions of that. Versions. <laughs> realistic versions. Yes, the realistic versions so, where you appro where so you let them know. Is it know. the questions that you should be asking that really help you to find maybe a quality, because then there's a lot of guys out there, maybe some aren't aren't the best for you. So when you're talking about a quality man. <laughs> what makes a quality yes, man? Yes, and how do you, is it making sure you just continue to 
ask questions, a lot of questions to try to figure out who they are. Well, you want to make sure a man's actions follow his words. That's key number one. And don't base a guy based on the chemistry or the attraction factor that you feel with him because that tells you nothing about who he is except that he's cute and he makes your heart go thumpity thump thump thump. And the way you can tell a quality man is by spending time with him. See what he does, see his values, see what's important to him. And you can't get all that by just asking questions. You really have to just spend time. Quality time. Yeah. You saw right there her book. I have it right here as well. The winning, the winning dating formula for women <laughs> over 50. Seven steps to attract quality men. So you saw the book. There it is once again. So they can go online and buy this at findaqualityman.com? No, they can buy it on Amazon. Okay. That's the name on my website. Okay. And uh, they can, anyone can reach out to me through my website. So if you have more questions and you're nervous about getting out there, go to our website. Ask her the questions. and. And get out there, ladies. We can do this, right? Thank you so much for oh, being thank here. You. Really appreciate it. <laughs>